Welcome back to Age of Wonders 4, learning as we play, and we are in a bit of a pickle still. We have survived a war against one of our opponents, but the second one is still scratching at our doorstep, and they have the better unit composition, the better units overall. So we are in a bit of a bind to try and catch up to what we are facing off against. Uh, I have amassed my army here with the reason I'm close enough to react to any of this. Uh, but it's not my entire army. I still have my main hero running around on the back end here. Considering whether or not I might uh, just attack dominance here. Because I, could, I, I can take that with one hero. Uh, so that's probably what we're going to do. And this army uh, am amalgamation will just keep staying here. If the enemy comes, we're not actually going to en engage, but we want to make sure we stay out of their reach, basically, so we can immediately withdraw when they come for us. And yeah, so that's the situation. Taking dominance would help us a little bit, but we definitely want to keep an eye on what uh, what Hardwin Lamplighter is doing. Okay, he's withdrawing his troops now. Uh, mind we don't see the whole strength of his armies because a lot of it is hidden as he enters these areas. So we need to be a little bit careful there. A special guest, Salvinia Wakewalker. Oh, Queen World has reached the capture of important hero of dominance. Um, no. No. We'll, we'll keep her. I don't even care all that much about whatever else was being said. Now, something we need to keep in mind is obviously that Dominance itself might still uh, hold more troops than we can see here right now. This is an unfortunate reality of the later game. We could try and bring in a scout to help us see these things before main army arrives. And I know that I, I did have one somewhere. Over here is where we have the scout. We do have the bird as well, which is sort of a scout. Let's send it uh, this way there. And here is the actual scout, who will take about as long as the bird. So we'll send this scout over here, quite honestly. So we're just going to move a little bit closer with the scout, see what they're doing. Okay, this is our harassment unit. Uh, that we specifically built to go harass the enemy. And I see that our our vassal here with his raiding party is actually laying siege to Harperton. Which we could slightly reinforce. Uh, so that's kind of fun. This army just stays. Stays. I could just right click through these so they still stay there. Uh, this reinforcement unit. Up. Uh, we'll just send it alongside our main army. That's fine. And we have gotten this sea creature. Now, the sea creature is trapped in the back here. We can't put it on land. Uh, it's really kind of worthless for us. It's not going to win a battle anywhere here. Um, so, we're going to dismiss it. Because it costs us mana upkeep. And we definitely can use mana and things for other stuff. So, all oh right, a new volume can be chosen. So green or orange it will be. Uh, we definitely need bigger, better units. The gold golem is a polearm unit, which is huge and a mythic unit. So they're real strong, as you can see. Strike gold, 45 physical damage, uh, guild strike 22. Uh, but they do cost a lot of upkeep to have. We definitely need better units. Uh, these are also mythic. Uh, summon Horn God. They are summoned units, which I believe, based on our uh, our tech tree here up, up here, um, we get a bit of a bit of a lower upkeep. So we might actually want to go with the Horn God rather than the Golden Golem. Uh, and I think that's actually what we're going to go do. It's uh, The rest of these isn't great, I, I don't think. Uh, but the Horned God... Well, 32... 30... Potent summoning abilities. 
Oh yeah, he can he can um, animate flora, which is pretty decent. Oh, it's pretty decent. And he is a level 5 unit, whereas the Golden Golem is also level 5. Okay, so let's let's go with the uh, Tome of Nature's Wrath. And we'll just skip right-click through the animation to move that up. And we'll force our way through to summoning the Horned God, as that is what we would like to have. Um... Did I not have a message right just now to... We can annex something? Okay, I don't know. Right, uh, is this at the end of our turn again? Or is this at the beginning of our turn? I never know with these things. Alright, we just move here. Is probably or potentially where he's withdrawing some of his units. I'll bring in the scout a little bit closer once our turn is on. To maybe see what's going on here. Okay, they can... Yeah, 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 all right, yeah. They they are all going down here to take care of this. This is... I think they just killed that. I think they just killed that. All right, so we'll just... Not do anything just yet, but we'll just move these troops over here. And once they're there, we're just going to start raiding him down there. All right, I think... This is a raiding party against us. So let's see, what do we need to deal with this? I want to s send as few troops as possible because uh, we have to send them back. And I don't want anyone to get caught by the enemy army coming back up. So we'll just auto combat this. We might lose a unit or two or all of them. Okay, I think we have to fight this one ourselves then. I, do, I don't know what just happened. Uh, how I, I have an idea. I have an idea. Auto battle is very, very bad for your units, uh, for your heroes specifically. All right, let's check this out. How is the movement here? We can go basically anywhere. This here protects against range attacks. They don't have range attackers, as you can tell. They, they have the Banshee here, which we don't want to bunch up for. So we'll just move like this, set them into defensive stance. Uh, what else do we have? We have our own cavalry, which we'll move over here. Let's turn them like that. More cavalry, which we will turn over here. Just defending. Then we'll move these boys in. Also defending. And... We'll try and defend. Nope. That, but I accidentally cast that on themselves. That's not what I wanted at all. Uh, right, let's summon the animal. And our hero will also summon an animal. Oh, oh that's nice. That's real nice. Okay, we'll just turn him, set him where he is. The Banshee is likely going to teleport in on us and do their Banshee thing on the next turn. So we'll just have that go in. Yeah, there we go. That's all right. Okay, okay. It's, it's, not, it's not as terrible as it might appear at first glance here. It's not that bad yet. Uh, we can't really do that for anyone. So instead, we'll just attack, as it were. Now, our hero, he is an archer. And arch they shall on the enemy. The bird here. I think we should wait with that until the enemy is a little bit closer, a little bit better. So they will just attack the Banshee here, which has Lightning Weakness. Uh, these will also simply attack. And they bonked that thing out of existence. Very good. 
Now we'll move uh, these iron golems up here and put them in defensive stance because this protects these boys a little bit. And uh, the attack and retaliation isn't really worthy of a trade-off, so we're not going to attack here. We'll put these in defensive stance too because that's what they're there for at the moment. And we will... Actually... Well, they don't have a caster anymore. So we'll just put these here. And save them for later. We will unleash the beast on our bird here. Which I think is a good idea. And we could do something cool with our cavalry. But that would throw them pretty much defenselessly at the enemy as they could just all run in and attack indiscriminately. So we'll we'll still play the positioning game and just put ourselves in a in a in a flanking type situation. They might still come up and attack us there. That's uh, that's perfectly feasible. All right, let's check our spell work. What could we do? We could animate the flora, which I think we might actually do. Uh, seismic shock. Mm. Call of the wild. Eh, that's that's pretty decent. But I think we'll get ourselves an animate flora. And we'll animate... Mm, this tree here. So now we got a skirmisher. And they will do this and they will do that to a unit. This is already kind of weak, but they're blight resistance, all of them. Well, this one isn't. So we'll just spit at that boy <laughs> in the very back there. And I do believe that is indeed our turn. So let's see what the enemy does. Yeah, 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 okay, they turn towards our cavalry, as was the possibility. Our spiders are doing their job. I like it when the salmon creatures get hit first and, and take the brunt of the of the damage there. That's that's perfectly fine by me. Now let's see, what can you attack sensibly? Nothing much, quite honestly, but the most damage you could deal is this. We could move them a little bit, but I don't see the point yet, so we won't. These guys moving could make some sense. So we'll throw them in there, attack this. Um, yeah, our spider, we're just going to put them in, in defense mode again. That's okay. Uh, we could kill them. Or we add some damage here on the flanking. I think we'll rather flank here. That's a better opportunity for us. And yeah, that, that was a right choice. That's a lot of damage we were pushing out there. Uh, let's see what else. That would be another big, big blow to his quite, quite strong cavalry unit. So we'll do it. Maybe we get a critical attack again. Nope, didn't, but that's okay. And I think it's time to do this. We do hit our own unit if we do this. Actually, we hit two of our own units, which I don't want. This would be okay. Yeah. That's a worthwhile expenditure of that attack. Now, he has killing momentum, so he can attack again. And we'll simply do that here. Very good. All right. Hero time. Uh, mass rejuvenation could be cool. Let's see what he can actually do. I don't think killing these is worthwhile. We might just go for mass rejuvenation. Because that's pretty damn strong. And uh, we definitely need the regeneration. Right, okay. Um, we could... We could and should give someone bolstered defense, so we need to move a little bit up over here. And we'll give these boys here bolstered defense. Are they frozen, potentially? I think so. 
I think these are frozen in some way. Yeah, yeah, frozen is what they are. Okay, here you can also see what they're affected by, which is kind of weird because there's no other way to see these. And honestly, I just figured this out. I did not know that you could see the debuffs and buffs and everything like that. Right, what can we do? Gain five morale, become strengthened. Do we have something that, you know, helps us in any way? We could inflict slowed and a bunch of damage on this group here. Or on this group and kill something in the process. Mm -hmm. No, let's see. Call of the Wild. Yeah, we'll do that. That's okay. We got enough. We got enough creatures uh, where that makes some sense. All right. He's probably gonna close in on us again a little bit more. And all the debuffs are just rolling in there. It's crazy. I'm right clicking to move up a little bit on the animations. Okay, our cavalry flanking maneuver there wasn't very ideal or sensible or functional at the moment. Uh, but we'll, we'll make something out of it yet. I don't like this. I'm, I'm not a big fan of this. So what can we do? Uh, we'll heal these up. We will... Um... <laughs> Yeah, it's not ideal, but I don't like this in the midst of our troops here. We'll definitely kill them with our hero now. Because he has killing momentum, so he gets to go another round anyway. And we'll... I think we'll go for the 100% flanked here. Uh, not the 60% uh, smaller unit. All right, you guys, what can you do? You can do this, which isn't really great. All right, our spiderlings. If we walk around here, we do not risk retaliation from this, I don't think. No, we do. You see how it lights up red there? So they would attack if we move around. These are not D&D rules. Uh, but I think we'll attack now. And we'll take the hit in retaliation damage. Turn and attack. This this is going to come back as a level 1 unit, which is pretty full. But that's okay. So these are not in reach of anything. We could attack the hero and flank them. Or we could attack these and flank them. Or we could destroy these. And I think we're going to instead destroy these. And these will just have whale on these enemies there. Let me put them down a bit. Uh, you guys definitely attack this because you cancel the retaliation anyway and this way we can kill them proper between the two of you. Um, we don't have too many combat spells left but I think... What do we do? Another animate flora? Or another call of the wild, bolster defense and strength and... I think we'll just do this again. We'll just bolster them, remove weakened, all that good stuff. All right. Let's turn. Yeah. All the debuffing again. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Just speeding up the animations there. Very good. All right, okay. That's not looking too shabby. Not looking too great either, but it is also not looking too shabby. So we'll attack them. Cancel the retaliation. Um, oh, they're partially frozen, I think. Or something died being frozen or whatever. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. 
All right. My hero is not capable of killing these outright. That's fantastic news. Uh, so we'll just destroy them like this. It's not ideal usage of our troops here, but we need to free ourselves a little bit. Right. This would be a bit... That would be pretty good. Why is it 30% though? Oh, because uh, we have to move first. So... Hmm... We'll move one one square, only one square, uh, because I still want to have a de okay. Well, that didn't that that wasn't worthwhile. We'll send our little spider boys. Do we send them there now? We'll attack these. That's fine. That's okay. And now we'll destroy these them. Very good. Okay, and the morale is dropping to a point where he gets quite scared and for good reason too. Uh, we'll go and attack and flank him and not actually attack the hero. Reason? Honestly, I'm not even quite sure why I'm doing that. Uh, I'm just hoping that we have a little bit of a better effect here. And I want to avoid this killing this, but that might be too late for that. Except, of course, we can go and say hold the line so they become steadfast and they can't fall below one health. So I think we'll give them this. So they can't be killed, even even if he tries now. So Okay, Hero tried to move away, so we got an opportunity to attack. Ah, well, they didn't hold the line. Oh boy, that was a big bad retaliation. But out came the cavalry slayers. All right. Let's see about all this. We can do that again. Hitting a whole bunch of our troops, so we're not gonna cancel with left click, not right click. It's a little bit unintuitive. Um, positioning with this bird isn't ideal. It really isn't. Oh, ah, that was a crit, though. That was real good, though. That was good. We'll just go and kill these, I think. Just get rid of them. And now we can just throw our cavalry in on the hero. And, uh, no, we, won we don't want to win the battle immediately. I want to kill that thing. Absolutely want to kill that thing. And there we go. Now, sometimes the auto battle works fine. Sometimes it does things like this, where it's just really baffling how it turned out that way. I mean, I still lost uh, a unit, but, I, well, vast difference between what the AI managed and what I managed. Vast, vast difference. Uh, I'm not going to attack the outpost because he's just through this underground passage and he, he'll come right for us. That's That's just a silly idea. Uh, right, let's see. Uh, we'll bring our troops up to the shore here. Up on the shoreline. And now we're vulnerable. If there's more than I can see, we are pretty much dead on the next turn. But we'll just we'll just have to chance it. Uh, let's throw this guy here as a support unit. And these guys die exactly where they are. Wait, ah, no, you are our scout, aren't you? Yeah, no, you'll stay here. You'll, you'll camp here. This is your new position. You guys stay, 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 stay. Alright, we can build something again. Uh, plus one province annexation range and plus ten gold. That's not bad. But it's also not really great. Food income. We don't really need food income. That's all pretty decent. Plus 100% income from governor. I think. Uh, what are you governing? What is your income contribution? You are food contribution. So that's... That's not... Hmm. We could go for, like, Root of Nature and stuff like that. Build toward a magic victory. But right now I don't feel confident that I could defend these for a victory. So we could build Bountiful Fields, giving us more draft. And actually we might just do that... I think over here would be good. Right there. That's what we're going to build. And 
build some knights and maybe an iron golem or two because those have been pretty good for us i must say those have done decent 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 all uh, right let's see uh what can we build here can we build something that's sensible production production isn't a bad idea stone walls wouldn't be bad either all the extra stuff uh let's go let's go with the masonic hall it's boosted a hero leveled up i he did or she or who whatever you are uh you could be a lord of war extra movement points extra hit points Meh. production income knowledge uh we'll, we'll just go for knowledge on her spells are ready to cast yes they are i think we would nah, we're not summoning another phase beast because those cost us uh imperium already as upkeep but these guys now nah, they've now nah, we need to wait for the for the god we are waiting for the horned god this is uh how we are going to be slightly halfway somewhat a little bit better we'll keep them uh, I, in our prison as they give us research and stuff like that the blue ruler I think that's her yeah she has withdrawn to the ether so that's good there's bad things happening to her as befits her station as the friend of our enemy We'll have to wait for the independence turn to see if we made a mistake up here or not. But getting another vassal would be pretty decent. Or actually we might absorb this city. As we have another city slot and there's just not a lot of space left in this world for cities. And we could build uh, another teleporter there. Okay, independents are moving, so now these might come at us. Nope. There. Ah, there they go. There comes the enemy army again, as was uh, to be expected. So we'll just go here. Start the siege. And we'll add some siege stuff. We will build our bolt repeaters, which are quite costly, but helpful. And we will go ahead and break the battlements which i think is quite important honestly because battlements are pretty decent uh, defensive structures which help a lot in your endeavors okay so now we want to retreat this army all the way back here and we will give them the knights as reinforcements and these guys are just gonna stay there for now that's fine you need orders and something is being built there. So we're just going to move over here and wait and see what, what's being built. And we'll take that next turn then. So you guys stay. Uh, you guys, I don't know, you can come over. Sea flying units are not affected by water or mountains and stuff. So that's pretty cool and decent. Ah, stuff's being invaded. We don't care all that much. Or rather, we can't do anything about it anyway. All right, we'll end it here. Uh, these were some okay uh, turns. We're still waiting for a horn good to become a thing we can summon. And yeah, we have a little bit of a standoff here at our southern border. We'll see how that goes. But our ally seems to be having a grip on uh, dealing with the blue enemy or the blue enemy just doesn't have a grip on dealing with whatever is going on in their own home there and maybe we can take care of this uh, independent vassal city there all right thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like comment whatever and i'll see you around on the next turn thank you very much bye bye